Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we are in the 30th episode of the series and we have Uditi here with us who has been recently placed at Shell as a part of a campus placement at VIT and she is here to share her interview experience with us. But before we talk to her let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to CSE and socket branches were eligible provided they had a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their 10th 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. So now let's go ahead and talk to Uditi and understand her experience interviewing for Shell. Welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh hi everyone. I'm Uditi Gupta. I am uh, currently pursuing bachelor's in technology in computer science and engineering from VIT Chennai. Um I am from Delhi but uh, my 11th and 12th was from Ahmedabad. Uh, I have stayed in many locations. Um, uh, my hobbies are dancing, reading, and in past time I like to watch series. Okay. Um, then technical interest includes my, uh, machine learning, and I did Samsung Prism internship. That was all about me. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, so Shell basically had two rounds. Uh, so it was an easy process uh, all over. So the first was the basic uh, standard. Uh, we will uh, everyone was uh, allowed to apply for it. So after the shortlist, I think there was uh, 300 or 350 people uh, shortlisted for the online round. Okay. Uh, in the online assessment, we had four sections. Okay. Uh, one was aptitude, uh, which basically had mental ability, basic level questions. then uh, second was technical mcq question uh, where basically it was more oriented toward dbms and sql queries and uh, along with i had transaction based questions so uh, then it was uh, coding third round uh, third section was coding okay. where uh, two questions were there and uh, i got both the questions from arrays and strings so it was basically ranging from easy to medium level okay. of the coding round mm-hmm. and um, but i heard from people that uh, many uh, got questions from recursion and gp as well okay so yeah uh, and the last round was uh, sql query okay again so it was basically what we did in uh, dbms mm-hmm. lab and all. Mm-hmm. so after that um, we got a mail regarding our preference so shell came to campus for four roles okay one was associate it engineer hmm. uh, the other was uh, transformation analyst okay functional analyst and um, co- cyber security analyst okay so i chose uh, associate it engineer hmm. and um, then was the interview round which was uh, for uh, one hour and uh, i had two panelists one was from automation Okay. and the other was hr so basically our interview round was uh, divided into two sections okay. where first 30 minutes were um of the technical aspect and the next 30 minutes were for hr okay so yeah so the first uh, 30 minutes was basically uh, the questions that was um technical aspect based uh, i heard from people that shell basically scrutinizes the resume a lot so hmm. we had to be careful what we had written at to be aware what all was there in the resume right. but for me it was not the case okay. actually hmm. so i was basically asked everything like every domain i was asked dbms i was asked oops i was asked api based ml and even um, you know the coding tricks like how the code should be written right and also that was yeah that was also asked to me hmm. so uh, that was for the technical aspect part of it then we got to the behavioral section hmm. where uh, it was basically a scenario based question in the mail itself shall mention the approach that they wanted the, the interview to use okay. so basically it's a star approach hmm ha uh, so that was uh, basically uh, used for answering the behavioral round of it okay it basically uh, what they wanted was us to analyze uh, they wanted to analyze our soft skills leadership skills and all okay. so hmm. it was more on oriented over uh, the la- next 30 minutes so okay uh, and then uh, after the interview round that was uh, pretty much the last round and we got the results uh, 
within a day okay yeah. okay okay that's great uh, thank you so much do you have any suggestions or anything that you learned from your experience that you would like to share for people who are not placed yet uh actually i think uh, first and foremost is that everyone should start with dsc that is the form that is every company is going, going to ask right. uh second i think um when i was giving uh, sitting for placements and uh, giving the tests so what whenever we had to go to the pat lab and uh, do the test i felt anxious because it was always time right. so yeah so for that i felt that if we uh, time the questions we time the solving uh, solve the problem time is solve the problem and maybe give contest one or two i think it might help okay hmm. yeah and along with the csc fundamentals that is also there oops cbms and all right, right. okay yeah. that's really great thank you so much again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions and i'm sure it's going to help many people thank you for having me thank you say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching